I'm setting up an off-grid security system at my house so that way I can have all the security and video surveillance that I need around my property and I've chosen to use this Envoit system because it comes with a hard drive that's central at my house that I can control but I can still watch all of this from my phone wirelessly and it only uses 50 watts and I'm going to show you exactly how many watts each camera uses. So this is the main head unit for the Envoit system and this is where the four terabytes of storage are going to be kept. I can have up to 16 cameras on here and I'm starting with eight. This is a very simple system to put together. Anyone who's never put a security system together before really can do this on their own. I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. Mounting this camera outdoors and running the wire outdoor as well as another camera running that wire through my attic. This is a 4K camera with an infrared night vision light that comes with all of the pieces and hardware that you need, including 60 feet of Ethernet cable. If you need more cable, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that very easily and affordably. It also includes this sticker that makes it a little bit easier for finding where you're going to put the screw holes in for mounting this. I've been using the Wise cameras around my house for a number of years and they've stopped working and that's why I need this new security system. I've had them posted all around my house both outside and inside and they have stopped working so I'm going to be using a lot of the existing hardware and holes including this one in the eaves of my house above my garage to be able to see the entire front of my house and driveway. My dog likes to dig holes outside and that's a problem. I want to be able to monitor this in addition to having security so it's not just for security but for home use as well. That way it's all caught on camera and we can fix any issues because I'm also selling my house right now and I'll put the link down below if you're interested in seeing what it's like but we can live completely off grid with how much solar that we have and because I do crypto mining I still am grid tied to offset that energy usage. I like really easy systems put together and that's what this system provides. I don't recommend using a power tool to loosen this set screw. This is so that way you can twist the base. There are three screw holes for mounting this to the eaves or to the wall or anywhere you want it to go, as well as three knockout holes for this black cable, which will connect to the ethernet cable, which goes to the main central hub for the whole system. The first thing I need to do is remove the old hardware. I'm gonna to try to use the existing holes that I've already put in my eaves so that way everything looks clean. And for now, I'm gonna be running this wire externally so that way you can see how that wire goes together. But I will eventually switch this to run through the attic. This sticker template is really helpful, but it's also very cheap. You do not get to set this twice. Once it's on there, if you try to peel it off, it just shreds and leaves a papery sticker behind. So be sure you have it in the right spot. You may just wanna use some blue painter's tape. For pre-drilling the holes, I don't want to pre-drill a hole too big, so I take one of the sheet metal screws and put it behind the drill bits that I have until I can fully see the threads, but not the shank. And 332nd seems to be the right size for these screws. You can also just screw directly into the metal as long as it's thin enough. Pre-drilling the holes just make sure that I'm not going to strip anything out. And really you can use any one of these knockouts for this black cable because the whole base will turn around the camera. I start off by setting these screws in but leaving about a quarter of an inch until I make it snug just in case I didn't line up the holes properly then I'll have some wiggle room to get those screws in there. Now there's an IR light on the camera and you want to make sure that that's oriented to the six o'clock position if you're hanging this camera upside down. You'll have the ability to rotate the picture once you get everything set up but it helps to try to set it up right from the beginning. Eventually, I'm going to be running this wire through the attic. So for now, I'm going to keep it external because I want to show you how this goes together. This is the sheathing that you use in order to keep everything watertight. First, put the collar over the Ethernet cable and then this rubber gasket and slide the head of the Ethernet cable through this housing. You'll need to slide up this rubber gasket into these little teeth and then slide the collar over the teeth and tighten down. That way it keeps all of the water out. The extra o-ring goes on the ethernet cable that is on the camera. This acts as a water barrier between these two cables. Connect the ethernet cable and then slide up the collar and thread everything nice and tight so that way no water can get in. Keep the black cable above the height of the gray cable or the ethernet cable that you've connected. And for now, I'm just gonna tuck this under my eaves before running it through my attic later on. For the second camera, I'm gonna use this light hole that I've never used on my eaves ever since buying my house. This is gonna make it a lot easier to run through the attic. You only need about a half inch hole to run all of the wires through. And I recommend putting that in the middle of where you're gonna put the camera. So that way all the wires are tucked up nice and clean and you don't have to worry about them showing. There's a simple collar that covers all of the hardware and I have to climb up into the attic, go find where that cable is and connect my ethernet cable. 
This is probably the hardest part of the whole thing is just getting the wires connected wherever they need to go in the attic. So if you can do an outdoor run and keep it clean looking, because this is a hardwired system, it doesn't work over Wi-Fi. So I bought this extra adapter for my Starlink that allows me to connect my own ethernet cable to plug directly into the back of the main unit of the Onwalt security system. It goes into this network port. This is just the blue cable that I ran through my attic directly from my Wi-Fi. And it's just the blue cable that I ran directly from my Starlink using this affordable adapter off of Amazon. All you do is connect an ethernet cable to this and then run it directly to the main central hub. If you need to run more ethernet cables like I do for doing Bitcoin or crypto mining, then you want to get what's called a Netgear switch, which allows you to get a hub for all of the ethernet to get distributed from. You can buy pre-cut cables that are already terminated at whatever length that you need. And it's really not that expensive. Or if you want, you can buy even outdoor rated and burial rated waterproof cable for less than $100. This is 500 feet and it even includes the terminations that you need. And the crimp tool with more pieces is also very affordable on Amazon and is easy to use even if you've never done it before. The cameras do audio, video, and power through a single ethernet cable, which makes life so much easier. I'm gonna plug into my Anchor Solux F3800 for the main power supply to the whole system, as well as power for the monitor. Now, the monitor and the HDMI cable are not included with the system. You will have to get that on your own. This is one that I had laying around my office. So lucky for me, this was part of the system that I could save money on. Some people choose to get a big TV. This is just what I had laying around. Go with whatever option is best for you. I turn on the power switch on the back of the head unit and it starts right up with no problems, but I do need to set up my account for the first time. I'm gonna choose English and the password for the first time you get in is in the user manual and it's just one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're gonna put in your own password and download the app. That way you can monitor everything from your phone and you don't have to use the central system if you don't want to. The app was a little confusing for me at first, so I dealt with that later, but I was absolutely amazed by the clarity of the cameras the very first time that I saw them. I could truly see every detail and it was only using 50 watts to run the whole thing. But how many watts is it per camera? Well, it turns out it's only three or four watts per camera, even though it's 4K HD quality. So then I wanted to know how much power the monitor and the controller were using. So I turned off the monitor and I saw it was using 25 watts just to run the monitor. That means the main controller is only using about 18 watts to run. Now these screen recordings of the phone app are not gonna be as clear as what I see using it on my phone because it's a screen recording. But even at night, I could clearly see everything outside. I was surprised that this could light up my entire driveway and easily my front porch and see everything going on. I don't think there's a chance that anything's gonna get by without me knowing. And I wanted to check it again in the morning and the clarity is still really good. Obviously much better to see when there's daylight. One of my favorite things though is having these timestamps of events from my phone and being able to see what those events were all from my phone. I think this is an incredible feature that more companies need to be utilizing. I can go into the settings and check the sensitivity and change the noise settings. And I can even talk through the cameras, listen through the cameras. All of it is controllable either on the phone or the main controller. And I've been using the Wise cameras for a long time. This is one that's still working and I have it pointing out of my front window. And these are nice because there are no cables to run and it works over Wi-Fi and just plugs into a normal outlet. But the video quality is just not there. The image is really grainy. I can't see clear information on license plates or people's faces or anything like that. So it works, it gets the job done and it's easier to set up, but I just wanted higher quality. So I went and checked on what's website. And the only reason that I got this hardwired system is because they don't have a wire free camera, even though they show it on their website. When you click it, there's absolutely nothing here. I would definitely be interested in getting this as a different option. One, because it has its own solar panel, but two, it just makes life easier with running the cables. Overall, I think Onwot has a really good system. It gets a full thumbs up for me. And if you want to get this and get a coupon code, I'll have that in the links down below.